I don't believe in myths or hogwash stories. Bigfoot is not real. The moon landing was not faked. 9-11, it was an outside job. But do I believe that a snow angel that I make will come to life for the sole purpose of putting me in a half Nelson? <laughs> oh yeah. In my life, I've stabbed two snow angels that turned out to be people and two people that turned out to be mailboxes. So, in the Bible, Jacob is chosen by God to wrestle with an angel. When he beats the angel, he receives a blessing. Well, I'd like to be chosen to wrestle an angel. And I'm hoping to expedite the process by making a bunch of snow angels that will come to life. Step one, make a snow angel. Step two, go inside and get a Nutrisystem bar because I forgot to pack one earlier. Did I miss anything? <laughs> Just kidding. They wouldn't come out right away. This is an open L number six carbon steel folding knife. But I plan on wrestling with my hands. This is for just in case I get caught by surprise. That won't happen though. I'd like to think if I'm chosen to wrestle with an angel, that I'd know it was happening. My girlfriend, ex-girlfriend, her name is Sharla. She broke up with me and moved out yesterday. But she claims it was a long time coming and I missed all the warning signs. And also that I'm the most inattentive person she's ever met. I don't know. She also says that she moved out three months ago. I just thought she was upstairs reading. They say that you're most likely to find what you're looking for as soon as you stop looking for it. So I was going to clean my car and, uh, I don't know, we'll see what turns up. I am here. Ah. What black magic is this? I am leaving. Sometimes the Lord's message has to be more direct. I am your snow angel. I am here for you. This is real. Come find me. I have chosen you. I am your snow angel. Sharla. She's back. Are you kidding me?